<laughs> I bet you thought with that drone montage that we were gonna be doing the event at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> we're not, we're just, uh, our house is really close to it. <laughs> Dang, look at that. We are going to the Lucas, I think Lucas Oil Raceway for the Cletus and Cars event today. Welcome to Off the Ranch, glad you're here. It's gonna be an awesome day. The weather in Indianapolis right now, it's perfect. All right, we're loading up everything in the house, taking everything to the track to get ready, and then we gotta set up a tent because we are selling merchandise today, and then uh, Meredith may be participating in something, as you guys probably already know. Woo-wee! Look at that tent. Dang. This is good. We just got here to the event, Lucas Oil Raceway, and uh, public is not in here yet, so we're just starting to set up everything, try to get our merch booth up and off the ground, literally and figuratively. Dude, getting lights set up. Too legit to quit, man. We got zip ties and everything. We're real racers. Oops. I like how Cletus just brings a bunch of Crown Vicks too, lines them all up on one side. Holy cow, take my money. Look at you. Whoa, take all my money. Are you putting us right next to each other? We're like, you're the same height as me. You actually look pretty tall there. Uh, hey, this is a car event. We're supposed to be selling my merch. The walk-off, that's cold. We um, kind of alluded to in the last video about what's actually happening. You, we'll just come out and say it, Mayor agreed reluctantly to do a burnout. Dang it, y'all, why do you do this to me? <laughs> and so, we actually did a small little practice. I was like, I was like, we gotta do a burnout in something. So we got no, the- No, I was like that. No, no, I meant, she wanted to do a burnout, she wanted to practice, and I was trying to figure out if she's gonna do a burnout, we gotta do it in something, what can we do it in? And I didn't have any of my like cars besides the Corvette, which is gonna be trickier, because it has giant tires and it's a standard. So she did a burnout in Earl at my house, like a little like three really, second, really three second burnout, and she did no, it. No, I was doing donuts, I was spinning all of it. Oh yeah, she totally was doing figure eights and stuff. You were gonna do it though in front of all these people here today. You in that beautiful car right there, just ripping it. In sir, are you gonna go in circles? That's a real question. Standing burnout, maybe, or donuts. Someone gonna teach me how to go in circles? You just turn the wheel and floor it. Great. Easy as that. Easy. Yeah, I mean, what really. If I wreck it? It's El Camino. Okay, cool. It's tough. I'm so excited. Good, I'm glad. Like ridiculously excited. It's gonna be good. Good luck. Okay, bye. Talk to you later. Here's our wheels. We broke that stud. Um, you can see those wheels are getting just super eaten up there, like wallered out. Those, uh, just bad. Almost lost wheels in the last one. So this time we're gonna put slightly smaller tires, still large truck tires, uh, but they're a couple inches smaller and you can see the tread is way less aggressive. Well, you can't really tell. This is actually not very aggressive anymore because we burned about an inch of it off. But it's gonna be hopefully much less wheel hoppy than the last time. If you watch your other video, the axle was just bouncing up and down until I really got the RPMs up. It was wheel hopping bad. So we're hoping this will do a little bit better. Should. We're gonna pump it up too. Get the air pressure up in there so it's really tight and just spins. What's your name? Dave Todd. Dave Todd, look at that. Who said that? I don't know, some dude that I've seen Some super handsome ago. guy. I mean, look at this shirt. You talk about an old time fan. That is an old yeah. shirt. That is the original. You're filling it out well too. Yeah, Looking good. <laughs> had, a, had a good motivator. <laughs> I can't claim that. Dude, I love that dude. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so this is just a chainsaw that turned into a little motorcycle. Yes. Love it, love it. You want to give it to me? I do. How do you do the throttle? Right here. How do you do the brakes? It doesn't have brakes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have brakes. Should I take your first spin? It's, you gotta get your center gravity really forward. 
So you need to do a wheelie? Yes. And you gotta be way more forward than that. Yeah, alright. Huh? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. What's your name? I'm Jim Foster. Jim, what the heck is this? Looks, it looks like just a regular truck until you really start looking. 86 F-150. Uh, life is a wood truck. What the? And then <laughs> all of a sudden one day we uh, ran a car in the garage too long with the garage doors down in winter and we thought this would be a good idea. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> We put this together about two Saturdays. My father-in-law, he's in the stands. He two was a, Saturdays. Two Saturdays. He so you just crazy. pulled the body off and cab off and just flipped it around and then... This when they see it. All it is is undo the body, right. pick it up, spin it around, set it Yeah, up. and then oh. like fab up some yeah. angle iron bracket. Someone just got extended to mount the bumper and the okay. shortened just a hair. Gotcha. We got a scoop underneath to suck some air up oh, in yeah. there. So, but uh, it's been to car shows, cruise nights, pull Dude, the boat, is... pull the pontoon. So how good of a burnout it's gonna do? Uh, took off the back brakes, put a 586 gear in it. Nice. And you know what's funny? I assume you usually run bigger tires in the back. Yeah. You have small yep. ones on for the burnout because that's the power wheels. But if you look at it, it looks normal. Like. Yeah, I towed it here, original front forward, and everyone's like, <laughs> what's he gonna do? Burn off the meat? Nope. Nope, I'm sure not. That is gonna be interesting looking watching this thing spin around in circles. Dude, it it's crazy. What is under the hood? That's all I want to know. Under the hood? Well, we've got the remnants of the framework for a rumble seat. Yeah. We had to take the rumble seat out because we let people back here for parades and stuff. Rumble seat. But the exhaust <laughs> dumps right here, yep. so everybody that rode back here would forget they were in a parade and uh, have a headache for a couple yeah. of days. So yeah, makes we sense. We got rid of that, but. Uh, you should put another engine back here. I thought about a Mach 1 up here just to really <laughs> screw with people. Yeah. Just, to, just to gut it out, LS block. It'd be or hilarious. Like people are super confused. Yeah. El Cromino is ready. Oh, look at this. The independent Chevelle. This is Vice Grip Garage. He's got him some skinnies back here, so it's ready to melt them. This is an awesome, awesome Chevelle. Got his flag. Ready to rock. Got a 454. Shoo-wee! Time for the burnout competition to start. 
We got Cletus in neighbor. Demo Branch. One, two, three. Hey, Matt. Matt, what are you Wait, doing? What? Who's in your car? Push, Dave. Push, Dave. Wow. That's not fair. We got a push. 
I think Mayor did most of the damage on the tires for you, brother. What do you guys think of Matt building Mayor a burnout car? You guys, hey, Mayor, what do you think of that? She says, hell yeah, brother, let's get Mayor a burnout car. I think we might have broke El Cromino. Are you okay? A little shaky? <laughs> Still nervous? <laughs> of my burnout, Spencer, who is the announcer, <laughs> he said to the audience, hey everyone, also I got, my, I got my award here, he said, hey everyone, do you think Matt should build Mayor a burnout car? And the crowd went wild, and he went, Mayor, what do you think? And Mayor <laughs> did two thumbs up. I had no idea what he said. And the crowd went insane. I was like, wow, I didn't think Mayor would say that, but whatever. I didn't know what he said until like, Two hours later when somebody just said something about it. It was like, what? People were like, Mayor, it's cool you said Matt could build your burnout car. She's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're building a burnout car for Mayor. What kind of what kind of platform you want to put it on? I don't even know what that means. Thinking of... Uh, not building a burnout car. Thinking like, a, like an old uh, Roadrunner or something? Do something crazy? <laughs> yeah, all right, cool. We're in. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but you are looking at the current reigning Indy 500... I just made that. It's not really. It's it's the Lucas Oil Raceway, Indianapolis, 2021 Burnout Rival Champion Champions. I think it was our performance together that won. Mayor and I won the Burnout Rivals, even though I wrecked my car a bunch. So we haven't worked on this car at all since the last one. We need brakes because that thing does not want to stop. I need to get. I don't know. There's a bunch of things I need to get adjusted, but we're working on it. But guys. We had a great time. We're learning as we go, and it is so fun. And these Cletus and Cars events are awesome. We're going to be going to more of them. You should go. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Off the Ranch in Indianapolis, Indiana. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.